Let's have a look at how easy it is to use Unify. Start by going to yoursite.com slash Unify and log in. Let's go to the About page and make some content edits. The Unify icons point to editable areas. The green one is a basic editable area. Just click to open the editing interface. Now just add the necessary text. You can use the interface toolbar as you would any text editor. Even create a link. If you click on the larger text, you can see it's a heading 2. If you change it to a heading 4, it will follow the styling described in your CSS. Let's change it back and edit the text. The toolbar contains unordered and ordered lists and something new, a definition list tool. With it, you can create and edit definition lists which follow your CSS styling. Also notice the HTML tool that allows direct markup editing. The HTML view shows syntax highlighting, and if you like, you can also maximize the HTML view. If you prefer, you can maximize the editing interface to fill the full screen. Click Done to commit the changes to this section. Here you can see some different Unify icons. If you hover over these sections, other icons are revealed. These are Unify repeatables and they can be manipulated in a couple of ways. You can reorder them or use the copy icon to drag and place a new copy. Let's update the copy we've just made. Change the image by selecting it and opening the image editor. Select a new image with the upload function or use an image that's already on the web. Then on the left, make any necessary attribute changes. Let's upload a file and create a link to it. First, select a folder where you want to put the new file, and then use the Browse button to find the file on your computer. We'll upload a PDF file. The file editor will indicate when the upload is finished. Now let's create a link to that PDF file. Select the appropriate text for the link and open the link editor. Use the browse icon to find the folder where you just uploaded the new file. Open the file category and select the file you want to link to. Now add any appropriate attributes and click the insert button. There, you've created a link to your file. After a quick edit to the name, you're done. You've added another staff member to your site with Unify Repeatables. If you've committed changes you're not happy with, you can undo changes made to this page or redo as necessary. If you don't want to publish any edits, you can simply cancel all of the edits to this page. If you're happy with your edits, click Publish and you're done.